What's going on guys? We are back again. We're going to be doing another review. We are going to finally be talking about uh, actually an anime I didn't really know too much about. I actually heard this from a friend of mine and decided to go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to be talking about Delicious in Dungeon. Now this was a very interesting anime not only to watch but to actually review because honestly the entirety of this world is very interesting but at the same time it gets you to where you still got to try and understand the world now i did not know that i mean obviously there was a manga already that had been going on for however many years now at this point or longer but either way you guys can watch this on netflix right now so the entirety of this story goes around um pretty much four characters and what we have is we have um this one character by the name of Lios who him and his party go into this dungeon you go into this dungeon and you go come across a lot of different type of you know monsters and all these very unique creatures and you can find you know gold or other kinds of to form to make money and gain money by trying to understand the magic in this dungeon and when his sister gets eaten by this um dragon and the rest of the party doesn't decide to help there's only a few that decides to help and it's between another friend of marcel chilchuck and senshi senshi is a dwarf who they meet um that decides to help them that have been living in the dungeon for quite a few years now at this point and he insists on helping them and they start eating these monsters after they defeat them so that way they can live longer and they can use the resources that they find to be able to continue on forward to defeat this creature now during like i would say almost half this season we see where they're trying to get further into the dungeon and they don't go as far as they would want because they're like okay when we got this amount of time before you know the dragon you know fully consumes my sister's body and between having a magic user a thief and a dwarf and a cook and also of course a swordsman there's it's only a very small amount of a party but I will say that there is a lot of, if you like animes, where it's got a lot of comedy, it's got good animation, it's got good story driven purposes, I would definitely say give this a shot. Again, is this the best anime in my opinion? No, um, it does have its issues to where it takes a little bit to kind of get going to where you keep invested, you keep entertained to a certain degree but it's still very fun. I was actually shocked at how much I was enjoying myself because there was times where it was really funny. It was interesting on how they cook these creatures from being able to use different seasoning on them, how they cut them, how they try to eat them. And then finally, when they come to the conclusion of finding uh, Laos' sister, she is brought back by dark magic by Marcel the elf girl. And when, she, when they do, you see where she was actually being controlled by this one called the Mad Mage, who is the controller of this dungeon. And you see other characters that get introduced into this anime where they have to help this, you know, the team go up against, unfortunately, his own sister and stop her from being controlled. And then they have no choice but for some of them to leave the dungeon because they've either been so hurt, they're low on supplies, or they're unable to help right now. And there's some that do stay and they go on this journey and they meet other characters that help them try to find a way to save a sister but also be able to stop the mad mage because as of right now by the tail end of this season they meet ones that were cursed by the mad mage as well as also being able to possibly stop him and meeting him and how the mad king was able to say about the mad mage and all this stuff i mean it, it's just it's a very crazy thrilling story it's, it's got a lot of medieval elements so if you guys like that kind of thing if you guys like comedy if you guys like things that have to deal with you know elves dwarves ogres um you know dragons and weird creatures and you know um demi humans and things of that nature i think you're gonna like this series i i like it i'm looking forward to season two I'm looking forward to seeing what we're going to be seeing in the next season and how far it's going to go and maybe the animation will be a little bit better uh you know for those that did not like it for the animation purposes i think the animation was fine uh again netflix is doing very interesting work with animation i think that they're going a lot further in the animation department to where they have enough time and sources to actually give uh the animation team time to actually cook and make it work and i think that's what's doing very well not only for animation teams and also the voice actors and as well as you know the 
for for you know all the above but overall i, I enjoyed myself with this i'm looking forward to seeing what we're going to be uh di di you know diverging into the next season we really went into a lot of cinchies uh past andrea marcel's uh not much kill chucks a little bit of lios as well with his sister which was very interesting because elias and his sister came from a family of you gotta do this and that and he did not work in the military very well or other things since she was a digger and he lost his whole party due to um some very crazy circumstances marcel was very much of an outsider for you know even with her being very much of a magical prodigy and seeing how kelchuk even though he's um being a half human he is very skilled at being a locksmith and also go with traps so again i'm looking forward to seeing why the characters are going to return to help these characters as well as other characters that are going to cause problems and other ones that we get to see more about their past as well as also um are they going to change are we going to be seeing anything that is that was potentially shown in the first season that they're going to go more into in the next season but overall guys what is your thoughts of this is it a good show is it a bad show um have you guys seen have you guys read the manga yet uh should i give the manga a chance what's better the manga or the anime sometimes everyone has you know their own opinion of oh the anime is better or the manga is better or both are okay or whatever but either way guys what are your thoughts about it let me know down in the comments and i'll see you as always on the next one